Hi, everybody. My name is Frank. Uh, here on YouTube, Frank DV TV, and uh, I wasn't exactly planning on making a video like this. Uh, partially, I was like, oh, I saw that the the Bendy and the Dark Revival trailer was released, and I was like, I didn't think that that was even happening anymore. That's cool. I even talked about uh, when I recently did my Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, video, I talked about how I was like, I would love for them. Uh, like, I, I was very critical of Benny and the Ink Machine in those videos, but my biggest statement on them was, I think there's a lot of potential, but I think they need to improve, and I hope that they improve for the sequel, Benny and the Dark Revival. Um, so, they just released a trailer, and I'm like, oh, fantastic, that's that's great. Um, I wonder if I'll, I'll make a post about it. I did just unlock community posts, so that's a great opportunity. Um, then I sat down and recorded all of my videos for the week because I, I always do them all basically at once. Um, and then um, the audio on them my microphone wasn't recording. So, um, now I'm here and I'm going to do a style of video that I, I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but we're going to do a trailer reaction. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. What we got going on here. I'm also still in 1920 by 1080 mode for my camera, but we're just going to go with it. Mm. You can do this, Audrey. Okay. There's an, at least an improvement on their human animations. Ooh, who the fuck are you? What the fuck? She looks beautiful, though. It's been a couple years, actually. So, Wilson is the new bad guy. And he's sending all the monsters after us? Who's Audrey? Ooh. Is there going to be like a little, like, Fallout style, like, uh. The Return of Alice. Everything else. Stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? But the ink demon's gone. He likes gone. to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wilson said the ink demon's gone. There goes nothing. So we got a new main character, new areas. I will say, one of my biggest problems with the game has always been the fact that it's monotone. But uh, I'm noticing a lot more depth of colors uh, in that yellow sepia tone. Bendy? Oh, well, you're adorable. If only we'd gotten that guy in the first game. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. There we go. That's that. Just gonna... Hello. <laughs> um, yeah. So it looks fantastic. I I really hope that it's good. Uh, the thing is, none of the none of the chapters of Bendy One. Oh, that does bring up something. It's not saying Bendy and the Dark Revival Chapter One. So is it getting a full release? I'd love that if that were the case, because I fucking hate the chapter release schedules. Uh, <laughs> But every every chapter trailer always looked fantastic. I always loved how it looked. It was very dramatic. It was it seemed uh, very interesting, uh, and like the story is very interesting. Uh, the problem is, it looks great. It feels bad. 
Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, the it's like a, a a a fake couch made of con made of concrete, <laughs> like like the stuff that you'd find at like uh, a, a, a kids play play area where they're like ah oh, and here's a couch but it's made of cement it looks great but you feel it and it's uncomfortable <laughs> like that's the best way i could describe it um i yeah i really hope that it ends up well uh audrey seems interesting but again we're going for another animator is coming back to joey drew studios or I think this one is she's never left and she got chewed up by the ink machine. So uh, I, I can't tell if I remember correctly. They said that this game was a prequel to Benny and the Ink Machine, which always gets fucky wucky. Uh, though I will notice, I will note um, there is a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> A Bioshock 2 vibe to this. Uh, so uh, one of my main complaints about the first game was everyone always compl compared it to Bioshock. It was just not as good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this kind of continues that and it feels very much like Bioshock 2, where it's the same environment. Uh, it's just dealing with the fallout of what happened in the first game, taking the big boss of that game out of the equa equation and feeling the power vacuum being filled um so i i think that would be very interesting if that's what they're going with um if it's not a prequel um yeah i'm hoping that it ends up good <laughs> so how about you guys what, what are you guys thinking about benny and the dark revival i know a lot of people were very annoyed that it kept getting delayed uh yeah I understand, but at the same point, you do remember something happened in the year 2020. A little tiny something that disrupted a lot of businesses and a lot of creative projects. And God, it must be even harder when you're a fucking indie developer with who, who knows how many people actually work on these games. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, there were there were credits and I probably could easily look that up, but am I going to? No, I'm not a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm just here to be like, yeah, games are cool. <laughs> and then on top of that, uh, it's coming out November fifteenth. Uh, I mean, I'll see, I'll see about if people want me to play it. I'll see about playing it, uh, getting it when it gets out and uh and giving it a good old uh playthrough uh we'll see how well that goes uh i i ended up being very scared of benny and the ink machine even though i'd played it before uh except for the final two chapters where i played them and there was a recording fuck up <laughs> so i had to play them again and i was like "Ooh, scary oh no Ooh, flashing lights oh Oh God, no. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, uh, what do you guys think of uh, the trailer? What are you What are you hoping for? What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, would you like me to play this? Uh, let me know. Uh, make sure to hit like. Uh, help. I will take likes as yes, play the game. <laughs> uh, and if you want to see uh, whatever ends up coming out, uh, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.